What is up everybody? This is Moritz here from Sectionster once again and today we are going to be having a look at this lovely footer section right here which is brought out. It does consist out of those four social media icons. You have a nice little slider right here and everything you see in there is fully customizable and I'm going to show you how you do that and install it to your store in no time. Let's get right into it. The first thing I did for this is that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app completely for free because it's a non-subscription app comes with over 250 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components and yeah that's pretty much that to the app and the one we will be focusing on today is the footer one we brought out a few footer sections so just feel free to navigate around and find the one which you like the most but I'll be focusing on this one today it does come with a one-time charge of nine dollars means if you bought it once you'll also own it forever it's the nice thing about one-time charge and also that you're not going to need an expensive developer to custom code that for you because that would truly take some time and you still have all the customization options in the world so only good deals here all right let's head back to the my sections area of the app where we want to be installing the section before we can actually use it in the theme editor and you do that by just simply clicking on add theme and then add it to the version of dawn or whatever theme you're using because it does work on every theme i've already done so and then you can simply just open it up in the theme editor right here that's not what we wanted but i've already opened it up and that is the one you saw in the beginning of the video and i'm just gonna break it down for you how you can get the section right there to edit you simply just scroll down and either add it here or here i added it in the footer part of the section and if you would want to add it completely new you could just Go here and then the footer section would appear right there. That's another one, but we're going to stick with this one today and I'll break it through how you can do some customizations to it. Let's get myself up there. So yeah, now you can see everything of it and you can use the newsletter form if you want it or not. I'm just going to leave it in for this one now. Here you can change the text of the newsletter form as well. All the sizes are changeable, pretty much everything you see. All the colors, texts, paddings are changeable. So here you can put some input padding as well. If you want that even bigger, but I think it looks nice the way it is. Of course, the whole thing is fully responsive. We made sure of that. So if we scroll down here, you can see you even have this nice little hover effect. Looks quite tacky, but that's how we like it. And we're going to switch back to desktop. And here you can put in your email, first name, whatever you prefer. And then the email is getting right to your store email if you click on send just gonna go down here again and yeah we could even use a custom font for this one this one is also fully changeable it's one nice thing about this one you can decide how fast this scrolling animation is actually gonna go and even the logo for that is changeable so if i would chug in a logo right here let's maybe just do this sun we would see our little store logo right here that is something which is going to get updated just going to remove it for this case because we didn't optimize it ideally so yeah also that text is changeable like i said already pretty much everything as you can see right here and that's one last thing you can do right here just put in your twitter handle facebook handle linkedin handle instagram handle and it's directly going to connect to it so that is one nice benefit of course and if you're just gonna chuck one in right here it will appear as well so it's going to get activated by typing in the hash thing and then simply put in the number, your handle, or whatever it is actually. One last thing I would like to have a look at is all the colors we can change in this thing. So if I would basically want to change the background color, just going to go with an easy one. Maybe we're going to go for blue. It would look like that. I'm just going to switch back to something a bit more dark. Yeah, I do like this one. Save it up. And then we'll have a final look at it in the test store. Let's give this a little reload so we can see the background color actually changed and the WhatsApp thing is also there. And yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. Hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. That being said, have a good one and peace out.